Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And if your belly had a voice right now, it would say, I'm about to feel good. Yeah, now we're going to do exactly that and indulge in a harmony of flavors with this cheesy chicken mayo sandwich using Sunbake's delicious and convenient sourdough bread. Now, the feel good everyday bread that we are all coming to love. Now, this recipe is perfectly combining the convenience of packaged bread with the traditional authenticity of sourdough, which offers a healthy alternative to our classic favorite. Now, the one and only Michaela is joining us to show us how it all perfectly comes together. Michaela, let's do the dance. What's better than bread? What's better than bread, actually? What's better than cheese? Bread and cheese together. What's better than bread, cheese and chicken mayo? <laughs> Nothing. I don't think there's anything better than that right now. <laughs> is that what we're doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, just to make sure, let's make the better than best meal that we can yes. this morning. Yes, I and love chicken mayo toasted sandwiches. You can't go wrong cheese. with that, right? Yeah. It's got the perfect balance. It's got the, the creaminess. It's got the good carbs, good fat. You've got some yes. good protein in as well. So it's also nutritional at the same time. Let's not forget that. And we're adding some additional flavors, uh -huh. obviously, because you need some onion up in there. So I'm adding onion. I always add garlic to mine. Ooh, that's but I don't have garlic yet. That. When do you add it? Oh, like good. Fresh. In the actual like mixture that you're going to put into your sandwich. Ooh, interesting. Right? Okay. We have some parsley. But I like this because look, there's chicken sandwiches and then there's this. These chicken. gourmet chicken sandwiches. You know what I mean? Sandwiches. So we we got to make sure yes. that Zanzi knows how to step it up. A hundred percent salt. Okay. This Pepper. Is, uh, this is making sense. While no. I'm doing this, though, could you please take our two slices of our sourdough bread and wondering. butter each side of them? Okay, we will do that. And already I'm playing with the master and the hero ingredient right now. Sansi, let me talk yes, to you about you it because obviously with Sunbeck's conveniently sliced loaf, which we're using right now, it's available in Gauteng. It's now easier than ever to enjoy authentic, traditionally made sourdough bread without the hassle of, let's say, starting or maintaining sourdough starter cultures at home, which, you know, can be very over. Overwhelming. Now, on top of that, the bread is also made the traditional way, and that's using the slow fermentation process. That begins with the bread starter culture fermented by microflora, which may aid in digestion and also enhance gut health, something that we all need more of in this day and age. Now, I think this is pretty much the best time to switch to sourdough. I mean, it's providing you with nutrients. We've got healthy carbs. It's that overall feel-good benefit that's going to be included in your diet. And I mean, everything from sandwiches to soups to simple egg on toast, this is literally like the perfect fit for, I think, everyday use. Right now, yeah, we're making a chicken mayo sandwich, but uh, we can do anything, clearly. And like Michaela has just done with the rules, you can do anything with butter as well. What are you doing? This is cheese. Oh, I was going to say, like, how you can you just throw the butter? the cheese on the bread? No, oh. I hope I wasn't doing that. <laughs> you should have warned me before I just tucked in here. I thought it was just two mm. normal um, bowls of butter here, but that was actually cheese that went into that one. Well played, you sneaky And thing. also, while we're talking about mayonnaise up in this joint, uh -huh. too, you could use that as an alternative on the bread when you're toasting it. Oh, yes, instead of even yes. buttering it up, because that's going to keep that moisture. And it has the oils, it has the fats, um, it allows it to get crisp, it also adds flavor. Mayonnaise is a good alternative on uh, toasty sandwiches. I like that. I think yeah. That is a definite um, upgrade for me. I've never actually thought about that. I'm going to include that in my next uh, recipe. Is that enough butter for you? 100%. Okay, okay we flip What's it next? over. Now I need to pay attention. We add our delicious mixture into it. Okay. How much I, do you usually add? So I like it when it like oozes up. Oozes. The side. Yes. <laughs> I don't okay. Think it's the same. Good. Like you eat it off, and then there's like you got to have the bits before you even chew into the bread itself. But remember back in the day when you used to have those triangular snack snackwich makers. And yes. you made your toasties, did you, you couldn't overfill them. I, yeah. I loved it because... But then when it did overfill, that cheesy bit that like goes out the sides... Oh, just to stop it, I like You it. know what stop else it. could be good, now what? that I thought about it? Yeah? If you turn your heat up like all the way, right? Uh -huh. And you had to throw some cheese like just in the pan and then allow that to melt. And you just did that. that. I did, yeah. Are you allowed um, to do that? Probably not. <laughs> okay, but, um, well, I'm here to find out more. I so mean, you just chuck cheese in here like one would butter. Yeah, imagine, then this goes crispy and stuff. And then it sticks and to the... And then it sticks oh, to the bread. 
Are you mad, woman, I to create am. such magic in the kitchen? Right. Oh my gosh, this is no longer chicken sandwich. This is something this from is the something future. This is something else. Sorry, this guys. This is like we dived into that world of VR earlier and <laughs> pulled out a chicken sandwich, and this is the creation Ooh. we've got in right now. And again, see, it's already doing it. I can't believe this hack right now. This is crazy. You're gonna go viral on TikTok after this. Be careful what you do out here in the kitchen. And let me just remind you, this is a, a sourdough sort of a snack yes. wedge grill. And sourdough toast. It's better than any other bread. Really? Is yeah. Because you, of like... You know, you're right. I'm thinking about it now, and one of my best snack wedges, to toasted sarmies, grilled sarmies, it's always... Always sourdough. This is the reason, okay? Oh, man. Coming through with everything we need to make a perfect cheese griller, any griller, as long as you get the sourdough involved. And this has been pretty simple, but I think yeah. this is going to, like you said, suck up that melted or now hardened cheese and I think Can I'm you blown smell? away by this hack. Can you smell the cheese? Like, you know when it burns a little, but in a good Wait, way? Maybe give Mzanzi some of that smell. Just get some of... I don't even know that. if I let this brown enough, but... Oh! oh! You did it! It I actually did get stuck to the outside. I can't believe this worked. So if we took a full sheet of cheese and we just put it in the pan. Stop it. Okay, <laughs> stop it. We are doing something crazy in the kitchen right now, upgrading so many things, but a reminder that we are still using sourdough to create this incredible grill. Insane, insane uh, creation. A reminder, get in on this action right now. Michaela yes. coming through with the goods, well played. I think we won right now and you need to replicate this at home. Hurry up, what are you waiting for? Get involved. Oh, it smells so good. Smell that. <laughs> Make sourdough, the feel-good everyday bread.